Hey guys, it's Sebastian here from Noble Frugal Studio. You saw the title, so you know what we're doing, so let's just get started. So in summary, what this effect is, is that you add texture to a certain color on your character. So what you need first is a character that is fully colored and you need a texture. What you wanna make sure is that your texture is displayed over the character. So if you're in the vertical view or the X sheet view, you wanna make sure that your texture is to the right of your character column. So this is our character, Chowder, and this is our texture, this papery texture that's displayed over him, which is quite large, so there might be a little bit of latency. If you're using a horizontal timeline, you wanna make sure that the texture is on top, and I, I spelled texture wrong. There we go. So what we're gonna do first, we're just gonna scale down the texture so we can sort of see how it's gonna display on our character. Now what I did already is I went to this drop down arrow right here on our texture column and I dragged the opacity down to 30. That's just so we can see our character underneath the texture. When we're in the effect schematic, I'm going to be toggling this on and off so we can capture some of the color so we can use it in the effects. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go to this level right here, right click, level settings, and let's just scale this down to maybe 1000, see how that looks. That's a, that's a little bit too small, so let's control Z. Let's do 1,500. Perfect. Now I'm just gonna grab the animate tool and position this where I want it. There we go, that looks good. Now that our texture is in the place that we want it to be, we're gonna go over to the effect schematic and add it to this maroon color. To be clear, we're gonna add it to his hat and this maroon part of his shirt and some of his shoes. So I went over to the animation tab, but all you really need is this effect schematic window right here. I made an entire dedicated effects room for my needs, but I'm just gonna use the animation tab because most of you will have it and it's gonna be easier for a lot of you to follow along. Also, something you wanna make sure is that the texture is the same frame exposure as your character. So we have Chowder going up to frame 16, and so we grab this tab of the texture, you wanna make sure to drag it down um, so it matches the frame exposure of your character. As long as the exposures match, the texture will appear over your character. If we render this right now, we're just gonna get the paper texture over our character. So we won't be able to see our character. What we want in the end though, is to make sure his hat and this maroon part of his shirt have the texture in them. We also wanna keep the maroon color of his shirt. We don't want that to change either. We just wanna texturize the color itself. We don't wanna change the color. So the first thing that we wanna do is add an RGB key to our character. And that's gonna identify what color we want the texture to appear in. Let's go to Chowder right here. Make sure that you're in the effects view. If you're in the table view, just hit this little button in the bottom right corner. Let's go to Chowder, insert effects. Go down to matte and RGB key. Let's reposition these a little bit. Double click on the RGB key to bring up the menu. It's actually on top of my opportunities because I'm using two monitors. Now let's hide the texture right now because what we wanna do right now is identify the color by using the color picker tool. So we don't need the texture to be showing right now. Let's hide that by pressing this button in the column. Double click on the RGB key again. We're gonna click on this color, go over to this color dropper tool with the red, green, and blue underneath it. There's another one, but make sure to, make sure to select this one. I'm really just gonna hover over and select his hat. Perfect. Next, we're gonna add a matte in on top of this RGB key. So insert effects, matte, matte in. Let's drag these over again. Now we can show our texture again if we want. Let's exit this RGB key settings window. So the RGB key is going to be our matte. So click this blue arrow and drag it over to this matte arrow. And then our texture is going to be our source. So let's click this blue arrow and add it to the source. What we don't want is this texture showing in the X sheet without going through these effects. So let's right click this line and hit delete. Let's render and see what we got so far. So if we render, we have Chowder's face covered with the texture and not his hat. So actually the opposite of where we want it. And I'm sorry guys, I forgot to tell you, when you click on RGB key, you wanna hit invert and then the texture will appear where you want it. We still want Chowder to show, as you can see, it only shows his clothes with the texture over it. Now to do that, we wanna drag, we have this chowder column right here. We wanna click this blue arrow and drag it to the X sheet. And then that'll render chowder, but then also we'll have the texture over his hat and his shirt. Now finally, how do we get this texture to maintain that maroon color? So let's go to ma the matte in effect, right click, insert effects, 
layer blending underscore I know, and we're gonna go to overlay. So the four arrow is going to be our mat in, so that's already dragged by default. And our back arrow is going to be our chowder layer. So let's drag that to the back and voila, there we go. Now let's double click this overlay blending mode so we can edit how it's gonna look. Double click that and you can play with the opacity here. Let's drag it to half and then we can still see more of that maroon color. Now you can experiment with what blending mode you wanna use, but this will work great. So now when we play our animation, we let it load. And now we see our texture is displaying over our character's clothes. Most importantly though, the maroon color. Now for each color that you want the texture to display over, you're gonna have to do the same process. The great thing though as well is that it even has the effect that it had in the show, whereas the texture will stay still and the character will keep moving. I think that's one of the most distinct things about Chowder. It sort of left its mark in the 2D animation world with this sort of bold texturized effect. And I'm glad to be able to achieve such an effect in OpenTunes. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, leave a comment down below. If you know a better way of how to do this, definitely comment down below and help your fellow animators. If you wanna support the channel or the making of my film Castle Dark, head to the description and sign up for a free trial of Amazon Music Unlimited. That's all from me guys. I'll see you next time. Peace. Special thanks to Owen Art for supporting this channel on Patreon. If you want to see the latest news about my film Castle Dark, gain access to exclusive tutorials and behind the scenes content, head over to the link below or on the end screen to my Patreon page.